Good morning, you're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kim Parr. This morning, my guest is Bobby Blake, the owner of a family-run business, a three-store retail flooring chain based in Brunswick, Georgia. Bobby, how you doing? Doing great this morning. How you doing? I'm good. I talked to you back, I guess it was about 11 months or so ago. We just talked about the state of business. Uh, let's start with that. How has 16 been for you versus the year before? Well, the first quarter this year, we kind of got off to a little bit of a slow start. Fortunately, we ha- we've had a lot of commercial work, which has kept us extremely busy this year. And then, of course, retail has been steady. Mm-hmm. We, we've really had a good second and third quarter. And, of course, the fourth quarter is going to be gangbusters. Mm-hmm. All right. Just uh, let me refresh our listeners' memory for a second on where you are. You're down there in Brunswick, Georgia, which is considered a vacation area right there on the Atlantic Ocean coast. Brunswick is, is in just a little bit, surrounded by water on three sides, but also protected by St. Simon's Island and Jekyll Island. You're, you're right down there. Most of your business comes from second homeowners who have vacation homes down there, right? Yeah, it's, it's amazing how much second homeowner work that we do. It's amazing how many invoices we send, to, not only in the state, but all over the country. Uh, it's really amazing. We used to seem like it used to be just a an Atlanta second home destination, you know, folks from the Atlanta area. Mm-hmm. But we really, the second home uh, owners are really uh, reaching out a lot further than just Atlanta these days. So some people have said the business that this year was affected a little bit by consumers who had what we call election year jitters. So you haven't seen that down there much? I haven't really felt that. I mean, it's amazing how much of our residential rehab work has come from people buying a home as a primary residence or buying a, a second home and, and wanting to fix it up. And uh, I mean, there's been a lot of that this year, more than I can remember in recent years. All right. So three weeks ago, your whole world changed and Matthew came roaring through. I know that uh, it was mandatory evacuation. How hard were you hit down there? Well, you know, fortunately, we didn't we didn't experience a direct hit, but we did experience a lot of rain. Uh, unfortunately, we had a lot of rain that week. So, uh, between the rain and the winds, uh, most of our damage was uh, tree damage. And it's amazing how many uh, people ended up with uh, trees in their living rooms, and uh, a lot of structural work's got to be done, of course, before they need new floors. Uh, in a lot of cases, which is a good thing because it spreads out a little of all the work that's going to have to be done. You only do so much. So we were we were actually pretty busy before the hurricane hit, and then, of course, we had to take a few days off for the hurricane, so that didn't help. And then, of course, we got a lot of folks living on concrete from the hurricane, from various uh, water damage. So we're trying to get as many of them done as we can as soon as we can. So while this was somewhat of a tragedy for the storm to hit, it's a little bit of a silver lining for you because you, you anticipate there'll be some good business as people try to repair their homes? Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And, you know, you have a hurricane bearing down on you like this one did. And, of course, you hope you don't get a direct hit where it's just catastrophic. Mm-hmm. So uh, fortunately, we didn't have catastrophic damage, but there's a tremendous amount of damage. And like I said, the the trees cause most of the damage that most people are experiencing around here. Mm -hmm. Now, I know you're tied with Flooring America, part of that buying group. And so uh, this insurance business that that will come from this, will you get a good view of all that based on the relationship with Flooring America? How does that work? Well, that's a tremendous question. And and in my opinion, that's one of the top benefits of, of being a Florida America member. I mean, uh, they've paved the way for a lot of uh, insurance relationships, mm-hmm. PSP program with State Farm and some others that are just really vital to our business, you know, year round, um, you know, not just, you know, during the hurricane time, but obviously it, it increases with the uh, effects of the hurricane. Just tell us real quickly how a lot of that business is done for those people that might not be aware of it. So, I mean, obviously it's a homeowner's home is damaged and the insurance company kicks in. So you're actually notified by them instead of the homeowner, right? Well, it varies. In a lot of cases, we get assignments through through CCA Floor in America mm-hmm. with insurance carriers that, that they have worked into their program. Another way, we just have relationships with uh, various insurance uh, agencies and adjusters over the years that we've, you know, maintained and built. So uh, between the combination of the relationships that we have on our own and then the doors that uh, Florida America CCA has opened up with other 
programs through insurance companies. We have a well-rounded insurance program. Yeah, probably one more thing I should remind our listeners. Uh, your Brunswick Floors, that brand, has been around in that area with trucks driving around for the last 50 years. So you have good local. Yes, sir, actually, uh, 55, not 1962. So, right. yeah, that helps out, too. All right, so we talked also last time about your crews. You've had installation crews that have been with you for a long time, over 20 years. And w- with this recovery, how far out do you think people will have to wait before you can get to them? Well, it's a lot easier to exceed customers' expectations when you don't raise them through the roof. I mean, mm-hmm. we're basically telling people four to six weeks. Yeah, okay. It, again, it depends on uh, the challenge of, of their job. I mean, you know, back in the good old days when carpet was, you know, 60% of the market probably, I mean, you know, your average carpet job is a one- or two-day job. Well, now we're doing so much hard surface, and it takes longer to get you know, get a job done. But we're telling people four to six weeks by the time we order the materials in, get the materials in, uh, work them in the schedule. But that doesn't mean we're taking four to six weeks all the time. We're trying to get people uh, turned around as soon as possible. Interesting. All right, so just real quick, uh, one last quick question. This storm damage, uh, the people who've traveled down there, uh, really most of the damage is just with some trees taken down. I did read where the roadway into Sea Island, those pine trees that have been there forever, a lot of those got taken down, didn't they? Oh, man, unbelievable. <laughs> so the landscape's I mean, changed. everywhere. I mean, hey, the flooring business is oh, good, but yeah. the tree cleanup business has been really, really, really good. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, hopefully your carpet installers, your flooring installers will stay with you and, and, and not pick up a chainsaw and go help somebody else. <laughs> I hear you. No yeah. doubt. No yeah. doubt. We're going to have to pick up some more. We're, we're, we're hiring. We're, we're increasing our, our workforce right now, so that's a good thing. All right, great. Okay, Bobby, thanks for letting us know the impact of Matthew. Again, we're talking to Bobby Blake, owner of Brunswick Floors in Brunswick, Georgia, and you've been listening to Kempar and floordaily.net.